today we are going to talk about the core concepts related with the edema right now uh, before i really give the lecture i would love to ask you a few questions how do you define what is edema yes please it is the accumulation of uh, interstitial fluid in the body tissues right uh, she is saying that uh, edema is accumulation of interstitial fluid interstitial fluid is normally there interstitial fluid is normally there but normally we are not edematous someone can improve on this definition yes so accumulation of abnormal fluid in the interstitium it's really uh, we can say uh, you are saying that it is accumulation of abnormal fluid in interstitium still not good yes is as you can make it a better Okay, he is saying that edema means accumulation of excessive fluid in interstitium. Right, this is right definition, but it's not the complete because uh, by this definition you miss a big part of edema. Anyone can improve it further. Definition of edema, yes. Abnormal accumulation of fluid in the interstitium. Abnormal accumulation of fluid in the interstitium, yet not yes. Okay, anyone else? Excess fluid inside the cell or outside the cell? Excellent, very good. Uh, he is saying excess fluid in the body, there is excessive fluid either inside the cells, which is intracellular edema, or in the interstitium and body cavities, which is called extracellular edema. So, my dear friend, at least you should know what is edema. Uh, let me tell you, edema is just edema is excessive fluid excess fluid in body tissues that's it what is edema edema is excess fluid yes in body tissues that's it it may be intracellular or edema may be extracellular right when you say edema mean fluid in interstitium that is wrong because normally there is fluid in interstitium and if you say edema is excessive fluid in interstitium then you miss intracellular edema right so what is edema edema simply means excessive amount of fluid present in the body tissues but let's refine it further why because it's excessive fluid not in all body tissues for example if there is excessive fluid in the blood if there is excessive fluid in the blood is it called edema no if there is excessive fluid in the blood, that is not called edema. edema. It means that when, whenever there is excessive fluid in the vascular compartment, that is not considered edema. So we can further improve our definition that edema is excessive fluid in body tissues extravascularly. Extra? Extravascular right now let me draw a diagram to make it more clear uh, let's suppose uh, from your body I remove a piece of tissue right this is a piece of tissue a typical tissue from your body and naturally this tissue is having arterial supply right let's suppose here is your left heart right systemic circulation and this is Hypothetically, we make that there is arterial supply coming to this tissue, right? The arterial input. In the same way, this tissue must have some outflow mechanism that is venous, right? And that will be going to which side of the heart? Yes, please. Right heart. Very good. That will be going to the right heart and of course all of you know that blood from the right heart yes blood from the right uh, heart to so the pulmonary what arteries go to lungs and through the microvasculature of the lungs blood is eventually being drained to the left side to pulmonary veins which have oxygenated blood right now what I have what what I'm do, uh, showing in this diagram from the left heart blood is going to the tissues right and we have taken a sample tissue here 
and this is the arteriolar input and here I've shown the venous output is that right now let's see uh, in detail in this tissue right arterial system of course arteries come they divide into arterioles and eventually they divide into capillaries right uh, this I'm going to draw microcirculation this is your microcirculation this one right and there is arterial input here is venous output here are your cells cells in the tissue right parenchymal cells and let's suppose uh, this is representing body cavities right body cavities these are parenchymal cells in the body and this area this area this is interstitial tissue what is this interstitial tissue so we can say interstitial tissue is between the parenchymal cells and the vasculature is that right this is interstitial tissue now uh, let's divide our body weight and see what are the normal fluid compartment because when we define edema as excessive fluid we define edema as excess amount of fluid in body tissues but extravascularly right when we define like this we must know what is the normal amount of fluid in different body compartments right because when fluid is excess then it is edema but as a good doctor you must know what is the normal amount of fluid in different body compartments let's suppose here you are your beautiful picture right yes let's suppose you are adult and your weight is 72 kg right if you are 72 kg how much uh, water will be there in your body yes five liter water i think uh, i will die immediately five liter water is too low water you know if you are 72 kg and if you have only five liter of water five liter of water in total body you must be dead already uh, yeah, one one person yes 42 liter how did you calculate it 60 percent excellent very good actually when we say total body weight total body weight right 72 kg is the total body weight of this person total body weight is divided into two total body water and lean body mass lean body mass and total body water if we remove that to for example if this diagram is representing all the body weight right if it is representing all the body weight then in this person this whole should represent 42 kg out of that total body weight divided into lean body mass which is about 40 percent and total body water is about 60 percent this is very important to understand whatever our weight approximately 60 percent we are just water when we say if i say i'm falling in love with a girl actually 60 percent water of dr najib is and plus 40 percent of lean body mass is falling in love with the, the girls how much water 60 percent of the water and 40 percent of lean, lean body. body mass so you need to remember this that all of us consist of six about 60 percent of water about 60 percent of water is that right children have a little more percentage anyway so 60 percent of water it means if my weight is 72 kg then okay this whole system has 72 kg weight how much water 60 percent about 42 liters so if my weight is 72 kg i will have how much water 42 liters don't sell 42 kgs and if my weight is 100 kg then how much water i have 60 liters so is that clear yes. right and out of this 42 this 42 liter is divided into very important uh, fluid compartments in the body right uh, for example out of this 42 one third is in the intracellular fluid it means one third fluid is present inside the cells these are cells so all your if my weight is 42 yes 40 72 kg total water i have is 
42 out of that intracellular is two third and extracellular fluid is one third extracellular is one third intracellular is two third and what is extracellular fluid extracellular fluid mean outside the cell outside the cell mean uh, fluid in the interstitium including body cavities and fluid in the blood your understanding so if I have 72 kg weight the 42 liters water in my body out of that 28 liter is present inside the cells, cells because 42 two third is 28 liters and one third is 14 liters so it means I will write it here how much I have 28 28 liters here and how much is left then 14 so 14 liters is here outside the cells out of this 14 inside the plasma is about 3.5 liters 3.5 liters and outside is about 10.5 liters approximately of course the de degree of hydration changes person to person and time to time but approximately now we come back so what we have decided that extracellular fluid is divided into interstitial fluid which is here and what is this intravascular fluid normally how much blood you have how much blood you have five liters you were answering this then you were saying five liter five liters is the amount of blood in a person but we have fluid outside the blood secondly in the blood even five liter is not the whole fluid there are cells too we are talking about let's suppose this is vascular system these are red blood cells now which is the fluid inside the red blood cell that is intravascular not only intravascular that is intracellular too in the blood vessels you have five liter of the blood but in the blood there are cells right and there are red blood cells the white blood cells and there are platelets all of them have fluid inside but that fluid is considered part of the intracellular compartment that is considered part of the intracellular compartment so plasma which is left that is considered extra cellular 